Dr. Askew is here in his frog scrubs. Woo. Anyway, it turns out that this is a Central Mississippi Turtle Rescue, okay? Um, CMTR for short. And this guy was obviously hit by a car, I'm believing. Um, or maybe it was a dog attack? I don't know. Don't know? All right, anyway. Mm -hmm. They contacted me and said this guy was actually having a hard time, not eating very well, and had a lot of oozing stuff from this wound. Um, this wound actually was better than the pictures that they've sent, and they cultured it and got serratia marcescens. Serratia marcescens is one of those really, really nasty bugs that's been known to kill reptiles and cause some very serious infections. So, I uh, told them that I would go ahead and do some uh, some minor procedure here. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, pretty pointer here. We're going to clear away all this bone and all this tissue right here, okay, with basically a small grinder and a, and a sander to uh, to make all it op to make it open. And once it's open, then what will happen is we'll be able to treat all these wounds a little bit better. Now the bad news is right about here in this area actually is where the cervical um, vertebrae separates from the spine, which is about right here, and then goes and makes this little cute little swoop, and then becomes the head on the the, the skull on the end of the cer cervical vertebrae, the neck. Hmm. So. We gotta be really careful not to call, not to harm these vertebrae, but at the same time, the, 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 the nerve cord, but we gotta clean this stuff out or the infection itself will actually cause this uh, this tortoise to be history. Seven and a half. Uh -huh. Hey, that's a lot better than the sixes that you've been wearing. Oh God. See, it works. <sighs> Just start doing my glove rant again. Oh gosh, here we go. Say it. Just do it. <laughs> Somebody donate some money, please, so I can get something that fits on my fingers. Oh, God. Okay. So we cleaned away all this area here, and the thing is, we're looking for that big piece of chunk of infection that should hopefully come peeling right out of here. Look at that. Oh, my goodness gracious. We found the mother load. <laughs> <laughs> wow that goes pretty deep don't it or is it that the end of it right there I really can't see in there but he's really sensitive so I know we're on the right track wow don't do this at home if you do not know turtles anatomy inside and out do not do this at home my goodness though look at that Got a flashlight? Uh, yep. I know, right? That's so bright, I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's head on that minute. Okay. All right. So, oh, well, I'm, I'm doing this by video camera. How cool is that? Just so oh. I can see good. Look at that. That's like having a bullet next to your spine. Ouch. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? That's like a little surgical robot. You were like a robot hand. I want to take this and pop your ear with it. <laughs> would that hurt? I will be out of this in a minute. Would it, would it pop it. Oh, gosh. It's like, he's my brother. How, we've like known each other 21 years already. That's kind of scary. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> I didn't expect you to say that, okay? Oh, Lord. No cockies. Really? Shut the front door! <laughs> what was that all about? Was that like a Tourette moment? I was just trying to talk to you there, you know, in a language you understand. Oh, I didn't get it. You didn't get it? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so I might be done here. Now, what will the aftercare require? Scrubbing, soaking, Just washing? keep it scrubbed, keep it clean. I can't believe that chunk of bone came out of there. Crazy. Dude, you're gonna live. Now where the uh where those pieces of chunky stop is where the infection stops. Yes. And then maintaining it, let it heal from the inside out is you got the key. Oh you're gonna do good. He's like two thumbs up in small gloves.
So after going in and debriding all this area here and getting all these tiny little chunks and stuff out of there, um, we've actually gone ahead and packed this with an antibiotic. What you would pack these wounds with is depending on what you'd find via culture um, or what you suspect the infection is, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, it turns out that according to the culture, this particular antibiotic that we have stuffed there was one of the ones that came in as a, uh, a mediocre sensitivity. Um, or So we're going to go ahead and use it because it really good, it's good and dry up the wound. And then we cover it in Tegaderm to keep, keep the bugs from getting in there. All right, so that's it for now. This guy will be um, released probably in the springtime if all goes well. Okay, another bug died. I know you. This mean lady here made me take this medicine, and I don't like it. Little spike. It's yucky, huh? That's a yucky medicine, but it's going to save you your life. That's yucky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We only spilled that much right there. Make you so